Today, we call a woman who manages a high-end senior living facility, and mm. she's been stressed because mm. the events coordinator has been out, and that means she's been the one hiring people every other day to come in to entertain the old folks. Oh, wow. Now, most of the time, she meets them face-to-face before, but this week, she took a recommendation from a coworker. And that recommendation was for none other than the guy who danced with Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers himself. No way. The Alan Winterbottom. Oh, wow, Alan. See how it goes in your phone tap right now. Estate Senior Living Facility, this is Emily. Hello. Hello? Yes, um, my name is Alan Winterbottom. I, I'm supposed to be there on, on Friday for the bingo game. I, oh. I'm the, the special guest reader for the numbers. Yeah, Randall said you would be calling. It's nice to talk to you. Yeah, it is nice to talk to you. You're, you've got a, a nice, pretty voice there. Uh, thank you. You sound like the wet nurse we hired in the 70s oh, yeah. for our daughter. Oh. She was she was a real looker. Uh, you knew how to boil my cabbage. <laughs> um, thank you. I um yeah, yeah you're I mean, normally I meet with someone in person before we hire them, but right. um sorry to interrupt you. I was wondering, have you checked out my rider yet? I'm sorry, your what? My rider? I, I have a requirement that I, I need to get up and entertain the crowd before the bingo game starts. Okay. Um, I, I've never had anybody send that over, so what is it? I guess I could tell you, but how about I just show you? Um, how are you going to show me? Let me just get out the old Walkman over here. <clears throat> okay, um, here we go. This is an Alan Winterbottom one-time exclusive. Oh. oh, yeah. You feel that, Mama? Take your dentures out for this one, ladies. Alan's going hardcore. Let me see. Oh, no, is it worth it? Let me work it. I put my thing down, flip it, and reverse it. It's shrivel lemon You didn't realize that. You, 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 excuse me, you, you interrupted me. Yeah, but like... No, I, I was really starting to flow. I don't think that we can play that song at our senior living facility. You can't, but I can. I got my Walkman. Just plug it in. I know, but yeah. I can't. I can't allow. If you, you got to... a big, mm, let me search you to find out how hard I gotta work. Yeah, a limb, a deep, deep chip. Uh, <laughs> Come on. I'm sorry. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to cut you off. You're like, sure you're doing the what? Do you understand? This is a senior living facility. Like most yeah. people here are 80 and 90 years old. They don't no, need to hear. No, we're not dead. We still know how to get funky with it. <laughs> you know, I'm sure you can't wait for us to all kick the bucket and get us off your hands. That is such an inappropriate comment. <laughs> Actually, that's funny. That was the title of my first album, Kick the Bucket with Alan. Um, yeah, this it is was not going to work. It was me and Snoop D-O-double-G. I doubt you know Snoop Dogg. I'm... You know, it's, it's not the Snoop Dogg that you know. It, it's the guy who used to write the Snoopy comics. Him and I were old, old Honestly, buddies back in care. grade school. No, I don't care. Like, I am trying to oh. get somebody to come entertain our people. Oh, you and... want entertainment? You haven't even heard the third verse yet. You don't go down there, you will or won't ya? You go downtown, need it like a vulture. You know what that means? Because um, I'm not 100% I, sure. I unfortunately <laughs> don't know what that means. Um, oh, can you explain it to me? Because I feel weird when I sing that part. I don't think we need to talk about that. Oh. Um... I, I'm going to have to speak to Randall about this. He recommended you. No, he recommended me. He didn't recommend me. He recommended you for a prank <laughs> phone call on the radio. Wait, what? It's a prank phone on you. Do you get it? I worked it and it was worth it. I put your thing down and pranked it and then reversed it on the radio. <laughs> So this is a prank. Yeah, my real name is Jeff from Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning. We're doing a phone tap on you, Emily. Oh, my God. I was... <laughs>
genuinely scared. <laughs> I'm sorry to do it to you, but Randall set you up because he said you've been really stressed since you guys don't have an event coordinator over there. <laughs> Everything's been on your plate instead. Okay, so I am back to doing bingo. So <laughs> I'm just really glad this person's not showing up. So Because you'd want him to go downtown like a vulture, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Um, that was, yeah, very interesting. <laughs>